Yeah, absolutely. Week one of the 2022 season, it's the home opener at Richardson Stadium and uh, bringing in a historic rival, um, University of Toronto, and a really well-coached football team uh, that is really filling a roster with great athletes, and uh, it's going to be a great challenge for our team. I know we talked the other day, obviously, you'd like more time, but I mean, time is on your side. Is this team right yeah, absolutely. You know, you always want more time to prepare in football, but with that being said, at some point it gets to the point where you're just ready to play and ready to play against somebody else. And we got a little t taste of that last week with McGill, which was great for our team. And we've had a, a real nice week here leading up to this game, and uh, we'll finish it off tonight with, with the last kind of physical practice of the week. And um, I, I absolutely think this team will be ready by the end of tonight. Can you paint a picture? Is this an offensive team, a defensive team? Help me out. I know it's early on. Yeah, uh, you know, our, our goal is to just be balanced. And balance for us means a lot of things, and it certainly means all three phases. And, um, you know, a commitment to the kicking game is really big for us right now, and that's a great way to develop your entire roster and, and to win the field position battles and put points on the board. So, you know, we're just committed to being a really balanced team and leaning on our depth and on our athleticism. And, um, and we'll see where this journey takes us, and I think you'll see the identity emerge at some point. But right now, I, I think it's going to be a balanced football team. Yep. Uh, University of Toronto, I know you're one up now in the overall back yeah. in history, but uh, I can't remember the last time U of T beat Queens. I think uh, since they came back, Queens went back to the OUA. I think Queens mm -hmm. won every game. So yep. is there a way to take them lightly, or are you trying to get your, kid, your players out of that kind of mindset? Yeah, we, we don't take anyone lightly at any point in the year. Um, it's just not in our DNA. Uh, we base our team around preparation and the process of football, and it's very easy. Uh, for football coaches to turn on the p opponent's tape and find uh, legitimate threats and, uh, and things that are very dangerous for your football team. And Toronto's got a ton of them. They've got a lot of skilled players, they're physical, and they're well coached. So we're just getting ready you know, to be very prepared for all the situations. And, uh, and then we'll go out and play our best football one play at a time and see what the scoreboard says. Talk about Keenan a little bit. Um, obviously, he is your man at this point in the season. Yeah, yeah, James Keenan will get the start. Uh, he's had a tremendous camp and really just done a great job over the last few years. Um, really dialed in offensively with the system. His accuracy is exceptional and his mobility is exceptional. And he's really emerged as a leader in his senior year here. So we're looking forward to him uh, just going out and being himself and playing at a high level. And we actually believe that he's a player that, uh, you know, can be one of the top players in the OUA. Again, you can't be experienced, obviously, yes. No, that's right. At that position, experience is is really valuable and James has tremendous experience you know he's essentially been our starter for three seasons now this will be his third season going into it four calendar years now so he's been in that spot he's got great respect from his teammates he commands our team really well and uh, you know I think he'll have a great great game coming up. Lastly the season itself obviously you set goals you set goals as far as records are concerned or like obviously you'd like to be unbeaten um, help me out that way. Yeah goals for us are actually more process based so you know, our number one goal is to be the most respected team on campus and in the community. Our number two goal is to improve every day. And then our number three goal is a little bit more results-based. It's to win the Yates Cup. So our team knows those uh, goals inside out, and they really just focus on them one at a time in that, in that order. In that order. So today, you know, our goal is to go out and be respected in, on, on campus and in the community, which are, you know, James and Keegan, who are here, are doing a great job of, of modeling that. And then we've got to improve tonight. You know, we've got meetings coming up in an hour here, and uh, it's just about improvement. Oh, good. Coach, just, uh, what's the message to the young players who might be getting their first game action in a rivalry that's over 100 years old? Yeah, stay steady. Stay steady. That's our. That's our mentality for, for our entire football team this time of the year because it's so great to be back playing football, but it's an emotional game. Uh, you get out on the field and you're, you're fighting and battling and running and hitting, and uh, it's easy for your emotions to start to take control, but we try to eliminate that by just staying steady. We don't get too high and we don't get too low. Our word is stay steady, and that's worked really well for us, and I think it'll continue to work well for our whole team. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah. I believe we're, we are ready, um, you know, just taking it day by day, just improving every day and uh, doing our 1% every day and, um, you know, just working through the training camp, you know, it's a little bit of a grind, but um, I think we are where we need to be. How important was the exhibition game? I think the exhibition game was very important, um, you know, it's 84, 84 man uh, roster going into that game, it was a great 
great opportunity for our young players to get in there and, and show what they got. You know, maybe some guys who haven't played yet, who've been on the roster for a few years, or even new guys going into their first year being able to showcase themselves a little bit. Switch gears, talk about Saturday. You've seen some film defensively. What do you up? What do you what do you are on when you're playing defense, what are you up against? Um, you know, I think it's just got to play our own keys, you know, play our game. And, um, you know, they're, Toronto's an amazing team. They have, they have a good young quarterback. Uh, they have some pretty good veteran receivers. So, I mean, I think it's just playing our game, worrying about what we have to do and just acknowledging that they are a great team. How does the uh, Queens defense look overall this year? With the um, Federico and a few other guys? I mean, of course, Federico was an amazing player. He's, he's off to the CFL now and, and things like that. But I do believe that, you know, we keep putting in the work and we have some guys that are able to fill the spot. And whether it may not be one guy, maybe two guys, um, we have some things that are able to fill that void and um, help us out tremendously. Again, not to be redundant, do you have a good feel about this team or again, is it too early? Um, no, I, I feel amazing about this team. You know, I think we have some great chemistry and, you know, we, we live by three things, you know, just improving every day and being the most respected team on campus and in the community, right? So I think when we work with those two goals, um, this team really comes together and brings this brotherhood together. And um, I feel amazing about this team so far. I just had a flash about the Toronto question. Can you just uh, tell me about playing Toronto? Where, what's mindset? You know, it's just going in there and we, we want to win the game, of course. Um, start out the year on a, on a good note, right? So, um, you know, just playing our keys, seeing what they do in the first quarter, like um, James was saying earlier, and just give them what they, take them what they give us and, you know, move them from there. How important is it to get off to that 1-0 and start? Um, it's, as, it's as important as any other game, right? Um, it's just another game. There's nothing too crazy about it, right? So... You guys are coming off a great defensive year last year, one of the top teams. Uh, how important is it, especially the defensive backs group, to keep that momentum? Um, I think, obviously, it's important, you know, to, to start where we left off. And um, I don't think we will have much trouble doing that, considering, you know, we are improving every day and we're just working, right? So um, we do have some work to do and things like that, but it goes with any group. So um, I'm excited to see where this group can go. Thank you. For your last year of football, you want to make it memorable? Uh, of course, of goal? course. Yeah, that's the goal. I mean, uh, we talk about it as a team. Number one goal as a team is to be the most respected uh, team on campus, uh, improve every day, and then if we get those two goals, then hopefully it'll help us work towards the Eights Cup. But, uh, on the field, what, uh, with all your experience now, uh, what, what's your, what are your, what, what do you think you accomplish for the team? Yeah, I, I don't. I feel like I don't really set goals like that before a season. Really, just to help out my teammates, play as well as I can, and put my uh, put my teammates sorry in positions to win and, and be successful. Yeah. But aside from that, I just want to go play football and win games. Oh, your, your backup is a kid from Kingston. Uh, yep. Rican, so, uh, do you expect he'll be uh, challenging you for playing time, or are you taking him under your uh, your wing to help him out? Yeah, yeah Alex and I are great friends. He's an incredible quarterback. Um, he's been playing incredibly well this training camp, and uh, I think the future's bright for, bright for him. Yeah. Coach mentioned team leader. People look up to you. How do you see this team? Um, obviously, well, you, you tell me. Uh, what kind of team do you take the field with on Saturday? Yeah, I think I take the, the field with a team that's always ready to fight, will never give up, um, who attacks and finishes everything. I think we're a little more of an experienced team than we were last year. I think some cracks showed through last year, uh, especially towards the end of the season. Um, but with everyone returning, um, I think we'll have a team that's ready to go and in any situation will be ready. Help me out. Personal goals sounds like maybe not as much as team goals. Yeah, I, I don't really look at uh, the stats or anything after a game and and uh, and dwell on it or, or or celebrate it. As long as we win the game and uh, my teammates are are happy, um, I'm happy. Tell me about Toronto. You, have you seen film, Coach? Said yeah, yeah. Of, uh, of course, even though the, we don't know exactly what we're going to get with them, we're still watching film, um, taking things from years prior. Um, but really, the, the first quarter we'll take as just kind of a, a feel it out, see what they give us, and, and go from there.
James, you uh, just did the whole journey to the Yates Cup as a, as a veteran on the team. What's your message to everybody that maybe hasn't uh, been through it yet and what it takes? Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough work. I mean, uh, not every single moment is going to be a great moment. Um, there's always up and downs. Uh, football season is a roller coaster. Um, so you really kind of just got to separate yourself from that, take it week by week, and uh, focus on improving every day. And if you do that, then good things should happen. So what do you study in school? Again? I'm a history major. History major? Yeah. What's your plans for next year? Do you have any plans for next year? At all uh, no plans yet. Um, might go try and play overseas or something like that, but uh, yeah, well, to be determined. Time-wise, we talked to Coach about it. I'm sure you'd love another week for prep. You don't have it. Uh, do you have a good feel? I mean, do you feel you're where you guys should be at at this point? Yeah, I feel great about her. Our team. I mean, our defense is going to be stellar again, and uh, I think offense we're clicking on all cylinders. So, yeah, it'll be good. Thank you, James. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.